Hey guys, it's Emilio Espinoza with Espinoza and Associates, and as you can see, I'm wearing my COVID outfit. It's a scorcher outside, 35 degrees, sunny, probably gonna feel like 40, 42 degrees. If you ask me, that's not the only thing that's on fire. This real estate market is insane. So, market stats came out. Um, I'm gonna try to simplify this for you as much as I can. Uh, I know these numbers sometimes can be confusing, so things we're gonna be looking at is we're gonna be looking at number of sales, average price, and months of inventory. Um, what we can see is from, if we're looking at the number of sales from April, which we're in around uh, just, uh, just under 3,000 units, and today, number of sales, sorry, for June, um, we're just over 8,700 units. Uh, that tells us the following. From, uh, from April till now, the number of sales has increased 194%. Crazy, crazy, crazy. From May to now, we're looking at an increase of number of sales just about 89%. Now, as crazy as that sounds, is it shocking? I, I, from what we discussed as a team, not to us. We knew that this COVID was going to bring unprecedented times, and because it did, obviously the number of sales shrunk because we're all in lockdown. But the moment we were, you know, you uh, you open the doors and we're able to get out, guess what? The floodwaters open. We have a pool of buyers that are eager to buy and you know buy their next move up property. So that is not no surprise to us. Um, but the increase definitely, I, I I didn't I personally didn't think it was going to go from you know just under 3,000 units all the way to 8,700. Um, but obviously a good positive uh, thing for the market. Let's look at pricing. Now, when we look at pricing uh, on a year to year, so June of last year to June of this year, we're looking at an increase of about uh, 11, I think it was 11.8% uh, or 11.3%, uh, somewhere in that range. That's year to year. When we're looking at a price increase from April to now, we're looking at an average market price increase from April to now is 13%. Okay, that's overall 13%. And from a month to month, when we're looking at stuff, uh, stuff from from May to June, is it's in around the 7.8, 7.81% price increase from month to month. Again, insane numbers. Uh, it's it's not something that we're traditionally that uh, that you know you you, you see, um, but when you do, you know that the market is just on fire. Now, months of inventory. When you look at months of inventory uh, back in in, uh, in April, uh, we were probably in around the four months, um, which probably that not which probably which brings us into a balanced market. So anytime you're in the four uh, to six months range, that's a balanced market of inventory. If you go over six months, it's a buyer's market. If you go below the the four months, uh, you're in a seller's market. Well. I'm gonna say it again, and probably the buyers are tired of hearing this, we're in a seller's market. Uh, you're looking at um, average months of inventory at about one and a half months, some segments of housing. Um, so you see detaches, you're looking at about 1.6, 1 1 uh, semis are 0 0.9, townhouses and condo townhouses are about a month of inventory, and condos are at about uh, 2.4, 2.5, months of inventory so you you see that shift and you see now where the the markets uh, I guess focus has shifted from the condo over to the the freehold properties what does this gonna look like over the next couple of months uh, I think you know we have a lot of active inventory um, I think we're gonna still get more inventory coming up as people are starting to uh, feel a little bit more confident in, in what's happening and interest rates are still relatively low so you'll see some properties come on the market I don't see it going crazy where a lot of it will come in the market if, uh, also if you look at um, employment um, and how some of the companies are restructuring so I think until some people get uh, a more solid understanding of where they stand with employment then they'll take more of a uh, aggressive um, approach um, so we will definitely see though I, I, I think we will continue to see a hot market we're running into in, uh, listings where we're competing against 20, 25, um, 30 offers. And, uh, you know, 
obviously one property, you got 20 people looking at it, 19 others are still in the market. So I, I suspect this will continue over the next two to three months. Um, and, and again, as long as we get the inventory that we need to have. That's our market update. I didn't want to bombard you with other numbers because it does get confusing. All you need to know is if you're a seller, it's hot out there, weather-wise and market-wise. And if you're a buyer, you gotta be patient. Have your ducks in a row. Make sure your financing is solid. Uh, make sure that if you're competing against other offers, you get out and possibly do this home inspection um, prior to offer date. So if you're a seller, a buyer, or even just getting in the market to rent, the, the rental market right now is crazy as well. Please do not hesitate to reach out to us. We have a team of uh, knowledgeable, uh, experienced agents that are willing to help, ready to help, because we know that uh, you know a lot of you buyers out there, you know it's kind of hard to get into the market because everything's selling over asking, and some of you sellers want to see this on your line. So please reach out to us. We're here to help. We want to help, and uh, I look forward to seeing you or chatting with you next month. Thank you, guys.